welcome back to my channel that was very excited i'm sorry um i was watching a few of my videos and i'm like shit probably people think that i'm not excited enough for this but i actually am um i feel like i look like a zombie in a lot of my videos because my eyes are like uh, from the, all the lights but anyway i'm gonna keep them wide freaking open for this video because i'm super excited for this this is a skincare video i've done a couple of like reviews of skincare on my channel before but this is something i'm super excited for we will be reviewing morphe skincare are you guys still into Morphe anymore? Back in the day when I couldn't really buy anything more than Morphe because it was way too pricey and I earned like 10 ten dollars an hour morphe was it like i was like the biggest morphe fan do you guys want to know a funny story actually oh i have to tell you the story before i start so you know how morphe palettes are super thin and black i ordered like 200 dollars worth of palettes okay and um i was so excited about them and it comes in a big cardboard box the palettes are like so light okay like literally like they weigh nothing at all so if you picked up that cardboard box and you didn't know what's in it you probably thought it was an empty cardboard box so I had looked at the palettes but they were still in the box and the box was in the bathroom and my dad was cleaning out the bathroom and he yells from upstairs to me he's like can I put this box in the bin and I just assumed he's talking about the cardboard box like the outside packaging that the Morphe palettes came in guys you best believe he chucked out my Morphe palettes okay he didn't know fair enough but we had a fight that day and I was so mad and I was like I was like crying and screaming because little 18 year old me was like $200 was like the end of the world and It was just a total miscommunication and he didn't mean it But I was like really cut so I was so mean about it basically chucked out like eight morphe palettes I was so depressed um, Ruined my life and the cooked part was you know how the bins like the outside bins They go out like they get taken for us. It's like every Thursday the bins got taken out and I checked on a Friday morning Like I would have picked it out of the bin like that would have been me Picking out my eyeshadow palettes from the bin. <sighs> anyway, that's a really freaking cool story which no one cares about, but I thought I'd share. So every time I think of Morphe, I think of that incident, which is my palettes getting chucked out by my dad when I was 18. Anyway, I've just cleansed my face for this video because I really want it to be as real and first impressions as possible. I haven't even opened these products, but yeah, let's just start. Basically today I'm gonna be reviewing Morphe's new skincare line. I didn't even know they had skincare. Like I went into Mecca, I was just geezing like I do every time I go to the shops and I see Morphe skincare and I'm like, wait, what? What's Morphe skincare? Um, and I was so out of touch with it, which is really bad on my end. I really, really do like Morphe. And so like a lot of their products are staples in my kit and staples for me, but I don't know, I feel like this just wasn't like hyped up in the social media world and I didn't really come to know of it. Um, but I bought them two days after release, so it's not shocking, but I just had no idea that they released. Basically, I bought all of the products possible. They have five, they came out with five in their first launch. Let's start with the Bubble Fresh Gel to Foam Cleanser. It says, wash away makeup, excess oil, dirt with this gel to foam cleanser. It lathers on soothing in a non-drying foam and it has aloe vera, blue green algae. We have this, which is the Restart Face Detox Mask. This is meant to remove impurities and detox with a holographic peel-off mask that contains charcoal, French pink clay, and willow bark extract. So this is like pretty much a mask, obviously, duh. And then we have, um, this one is a hydrating and nourishing, lightweight moisturizer with hyaluronic acid music to my ears um, cucumber water and aloe vera extract it is called the total softy gel moisturizer then we have this this is the total lil pick me up three in one face mist okay so i'm assuming you spray this after just before like you finish your skincare routine what is this calm skin and lock in moisture with this refreshing face mist that contains aloe vera cucumber water and orange flower and then lastly we have this guy which is a little lip mask um it is called the lippy lullaby lip mask let's get started obviously i have no makeup on i actually thought about this i was like should i start this video with makeup but then i was like there's no real makeup removers or balms so there'd be real no point trying this out as a makeup remover it'll probably just be disappointing because it's not meant for that so let's start off with the biggest one this is the bubble fresh gel to foam cleanser this is what it comes in the packaging is 
like, okay, like it feels like a drugstore kind of product, which is fair enough. It smells like a kid's bubble bath. Some of this. I think that's a good amount. It's very gel-like. Can you guys see? Like it's, it's really like sticky. Oh wow, it's like freaking cooling. Guys, that feels pretty good. Ooh, it feels like so cold. Okay, wait guys, I came back to show you real quick. It's freaking foamy. I just didn't put enough water on it. So when you actually rub it onto your face and then splash water on it and scrub it, it goes all like foamy like this. I can't open my eyes, it's in my eyes, but just came back to show you, okay? So it does leather up into a foam as it claims. Okay guys, I'm back. So that does feel really nice. My skin doesn't really feel stripped of all its moisture and I do have dry skin. So I find this quite nice. My skin's feeling really refreshed and hydrated. I feel really awake. Um, so far, really, really good. Nothing to be concerned about. Um, it did go in my eye and it was like tingling a bit, but like I feel like that's with anything. Um, I didn't feel any tingling on my skin or anything. For reference, I do have a dry hair skin type, so um, you guys probably already know that. This is 150 mils and um, $23. It's really, really quite affordable. Um, almost a drugstore price. I'm pretty sure like all your brands like Neutrogena, Nivea, all that jazz that you get from Priceline in the drugstore retail for about $23 on full price. Any Anyway, so this is pretty good. Okay, next up, I want to talk about the detoxing mask. Really, really excited for this. This one retailed for $20 and the mask is 75 mils. Uh, how do you guys feel about purple skincare? Like the actual product itself being purple. Like I, I don't hate it, but I'm just like, if I was in like a marketing kind of thing, I would probably not make a skincare product purple because I feel like people want skincare to be like black or white or clear, like something really fresh. It just kind of feels like face paint to me. Like this is what this packaging looks like whatever we're not paying for the packaging here this is super affordable 20 20 bucks like we can't be asking for much so it says apply a thick even layer to clean dry skin leave on for 10 minutes until mask is completely dry starting at outer edges gently peel off and rinse with warm water I'm just gonna apply a generous amount on the brush it's very thick it's like a goo like a gooey consistency Ooh, that feels good that is so thick. I'm using like quite a bit, as you guys can see. Like it doesn't spread really easily. So you need to like go in with a really thick layer. I'm using like three whole scoops of this product. So you definitely need quite a bit. Okay, so I'm going to leave this on till 3.14 and then check in. Okay guys, so it's 3.09 right now. It's been about five minutes and this is like really hard. Like I feel like I have something on my face and I can't move it. Like it's like I'm getting like something done to my face and it's like really stiff. I'd imagine this is what like filler and stuff feels like. Wait, let me just zoom you guys in. This is like really, really close, but I kind of smart. Like I can't smile, it's so tight. But I think there's like parts around here which haven't dried yet. Like it's like really shiny, but I'm gonna try peel off. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is so satisfying. It's very sticky. Kind of feels like a face wax. Three hours later. Okay, it's been like more than 10 minutes and I just can't be bothered waiting for this part to dry. So I'm just gonna go wash this off and I will be right back. <laughs> that was such a freaking pain in the ass to get off. I literally felt like I did like a freaking full body workout just then. Like the freaking, like, okay, the parts that peeled were great okay they just like scrubbed off because they were dry the parts that were a little bit wet i had to like scratch off my face and like really scrub wipe with a freaking towel or muslin cloth scrub again like with my hands like, i'm just saying you guys need to be mindful that this is going to be a little bit annoying if you are not at the peeling stage okay <laughs> cool 
other than that skin feels really nice it feels so fresh a little bit dry in my like on my cheeks but skin just wants moisturizer right now so let's just get the moisturizer um i paid 23 dollars again and it is a 50 ml moisturizer okay so let's just open it up again tube oh yeah that's that's cute it has a pump i like that 50 mils like you can take this traveling as well because it's really convenient i love that i okay this is like my favorite packaging so far let's just start i'm just gonna oh my god there's what is it watermelon in this i said watermelon didn't i yes it smells like watermelon Redness. I feel like my the moisturizer itself is really really nice. It's soaked up so quickly. Like it was um it's a gel moisturizer, but it really quickly absorbs into the skin. It doesn't like form a layer. So I would say it's like a gel, but it acts like a cream moisturizer that's really like thick when it blends into your skin it feels really nice um one thing i did experience is a tingling like as soon as i put this product on my skin was like whoa i don't know what exactly is causing that tingling but it wasn't very very comfortable i don't know if it's the first time i'm trying this product and maybe that's why but like i did definitely feel like tingling everywhere and it was like that like Kind of like someone's taking a needle and like poking my skin. Um, I just want to see if I like break out because of this or anything. But I'll keep you guys posted if I do, obviously. That one was like average experience. Like it was all great up to the packaging. But then after, I think, I don't know. Now let's move on to the face mist. Okay, this is like in their skincare line. Obviously, it's like not a makeup setting mist or anything. It says shake before use to tone, set makeup, refresh skin. Okay, so... Oops. So it's kind of, it's a makeup product too. So it's like a setting spray as well as like a, it's kind of like a multi-purpose spray. So you can use it as skincare, you can use it if you just want to freshen up a little, you can use it for whatever you want. It's a very watery spritz. The actual pump itself is not like a mist, it's literally like a spray. So I would, I don't know about setting my makeup with this. Like I feel like it would ruin your makeup, but I'd have to try it. Um, it smells like rose water, like very strong rose smell. It's absorbed pretty quickly. I don't know, I feel like I can't really comment on the, like this, this spray. Like it's, it's okay. How much did I pay for it? $17, okay, like it's a very affordable price point. I don't know if I would even risk this over makeup. It says that you can set makeup with it. Maybe I'll try in an upcoming tutorial and let you guys know if it works for setting makeup. But the spritz itself is kind of like, watery like i feel like it'll leave like dots on your face as opposed to a nice mist and lastly we have the lip product this one is the lip mask um, i don't want to be rude but like cheap packaging um it is 13 dollars, so i guess you're gonna get cheap packaging for a cheap price it's got a really really nice um watermelon smell i like watermelon This smells not overpowering and it doesn't taste like anything, which is great. I don't like products with like taste to them, like especially lip products, because like if you accidentally taste them and they taste like something, it's like kind of gross. Thick, it feels like something's there. Um, you're meant to like fall asleep in this and then I can imagine my lips like feeling really like soft and supple after this. Like I'll let you guys know, but so far like it feels nice you know when you have a kind of like, an, like a feeling that a product's gonna feel nice i think this is like that kind of feeling which my lips are like soaking it in like my lips like it <laughs> yeah that was my first impressions on morphe skincare what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below i don't know how i feel about this line yet like if i could try it before purchasing i'd probably purchase a face wash the detox mask i would say a yes like i liked 
the peeling effect it really felt like it's like getting all the gunk out of my pores but like i would just be more mindful of how i use it wait for it to fully dry next time so that's also a yes cream i'm gonna have to let you guys know like i'm gonna have to try this cream out a few more times and like if my skin feels a tingling i need to let you know but if like the tingling was a big no for me like i didn't enjoy it that much but i really really like the packaging and i like you know like how it squeezes out of the tube and stuff so it's a very convenient product um i would love i love moisturizers that come like that this i would probably not purchase i'm gonna be very honest it's a no for me like i don't know just like this freaking like nozzle it just ruined it for me it's like coming out so thick i don't know if this is because it's like super full but it's, it's just no like this is a waste for me and yeah the lip balm I do really really like it feels really nice and fresh yeah my lips will feel really soft um tomorrow like that's just what I feel right now so if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments down below and I will surely get back to you so I will see you guys in my next video and thanks so much for sticking around bye guys